Hello friends, welcome to BMH Learning. This is another video in the lecture series Fatty Assay Synthesis. In this tutorial, we are going to discuss about the details of the reactions of fatty acid synthesis. So, fatty acids are synthesized by the repetitive condensation of two carbon units derived from malonyl CoA. The fatty acid synthesis reactions can be divided into two parts. First is the loading of precursors via five ester derivatives. I'll make you understand about this very shortly. This is followed by chain elongation, which includes the following four steps. First is condensation of the precursors. Then second is first reduction. Now we have dehydration. And the fourth one, second reduction. Now, regarding the loading of the precursors, this refers to the priming of acetyl coa and malonyl coa let's know what this priming means. This priming of acetyl coa and malonyl coa is nothing but the attaching of acetyl coa and malonyl coa is to the ACP or acyl carrier protein of the fatty acid synthase complex. So what is the function of this ACP? It transports the growing fatty acid chain between the domains of the enzyme fatty acid synthase complex during bind synthesis. In simple words, it acts as carrier of acyl intermediates during fatty acid synthesis. So the question is, how does it do so? If you see clearly, in the given molecules, the coenzyme A is in thioester linkage with both acetyl coa and malonyl coa. All we have to do is to replace the thioester linkage formed by COA with thioester linkage of acyl carrier protein. So we are providing both molecules with acyl carrier protein and it frees up the busy coenzyme A. The reactions are catalyzed by acetyl transacylase and malonyl transacylase. These are named so because they are moving the set groups to acyl carrier protein. Both of these are primed or loaded so they are ready to get into fatty acid synthesis. As we know, there are four reactions which constitute the fatty acid synthesis process. Let's talk about the first one which is the condensation. So we have 2 carbon acetyl ACP and 3 carbon malonyl ACP and of course both of them are primed. So they both get condensed and form a 4 carbon compound called acetyl ACP. The highlighted groups are getting removed in this direction. The bond which is forming between 2 carbon atoms is right here. These carbons are designated as alpha and beta carbon. This reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme acyl malonyl ACP condensing enzyme or beta keto acyl synthase. Then this product will be taken into the next reaction, which is the first reduction. This reaction will turn the molecule into 4 carbon D beta hydroxy butyl ACP. So, being a reduction reaction, we require reducing agent NADPH and that will be converted into NADP positive. And this reaction is catalyzed by beta keto acyl ACP reductase. So when this enzyme comes into action, it reduces the keto group at beta position into a highlighted hydroxyl group. Then we have got the third dehydration reaction. So that means we are going to lose water in this step. And the product we are getting is named as crotonyl ACP. The enzyme involved in this step is beta hydroxy acyl ACP dehydrogenase. And then we have final reaction of the round, which is the second reduction. So that means we are going to use one more NADPH. And that will be converted into NADP positive. The product we are getting here is 4 carbon butyl ACP. And the reaction is catalyzed by the enzyme enoyl ACP reductase. 
Now concentrate what we are getting after four reactions. Of course, a four carbon compound. But more specifically, this is a four carbon fatty acid that is attached to an ACP group. So what we are going to do with this? Focus on the highlighted portion of the compound. This is the acyl group. And this one is going to be attached to the next molecule of three carbon malonyl ACP. Then in a similar fashion, the same four reactions would occur. And this would go on in a repeated manner. And will continue until 16 carbon compound palmitate is formed. This was all. Thanks for watching.